So I got a great question this morning from someone in an email, and I thought, let me shoot a little video on this because it's uh, simple enough to explain. The question was about the mediastinum. Now, some people say mediastinum, Latin scholars, but we'll say mediastinum because we're speaking English here. So the mediastinum, people don't know. What is this thing? Is it a thing? Is it a space? It's a place. It's not a thing. It's not a space. It's a place. Okay, the mediastinum is a place. It's a place in your chest. Okay, it's basically a territory like the abdomen or the pelvis or the thoracic space, right? So the mediastinum, we can add to that list of, of places actually. So let's, let's, let's frame the place. Okay, what, so the place is framed, by, come here, come help me. Okay, not you, stay. Okay, okay, here we go. We got, we got one here, scooch a little bit, scooch a little bit here. Now what, what does, what did my friends here represent? Okay, a plural sac. Do you see them? Plural sacs. How fun is that? You didn't know that people could be plural sacs. So plural sacs, look at them breathe, breathe together. Oh my gosh, it's like, can you, can you do that? There you go. A plural sac. A pleura is a, is a visceral fascia, basically, that surrounds the lungs and covers them as well. So the, the interesting thing about them, though, since you have two, is that they don't touch each other. Sorry, tempting as it might be. <laughs> they don't touch each other, right? So this, this negative space here between the two plural sacs, which the upper border would be the thoracic outlet, and the lower border would be the, basically the fibrous uh, pericardium where it meets the tendon of the diaphragm and they're unified, right? So we have the tendon of the diaphragm, fibrous pericardium here. We have the thoracic outlet here. We have our pleural sac here and our pleural sac here and everything in, in that negative space is the mediastinum. That's it. It's this place. Right now, who lives in this place? Why did it even call it mediastinum? Because something stands in the middle. Right? Mediastinum, to stand in the middle. Stand in the middle, would you? So the mediastinum is actually not a space because it's filled with stuff. Right? So there's no space there at all. Instead, we have the heart. The heart. Now, you, you can connect up with the yes, lungs because, right. of course, you're yeah. one. You're yeah. one. There you go. Yeah. So now the mediastinum is connected through, but th this, th you know, the structures are. But we're talking about a place. So... This must be the aortic arch, <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm thinking about that, right? This is the fibrous pericardium. Okay, so so do you get it? It's a it's a now. What is the stuff that stands in the middle? We've got the heart, the aortic arch. This is all continuous tissues. We've got the thymus. We've got the thoracic duct in the back. We have the esophagus. We have the thoracic aorta, right? That's a lot of stuff. What else? The vagus nerves. The phrenic nerves, all of these structures are mediastinal structures. Vena cava? Vena, vena, vena cava, yes. Um, uh, the superior vena cava. But the inferior vena cava is so, well, it's only this big, right? So the inferior vena cava, very small, right? <laughs> Around here, so the, it's not as big as you would think it would be. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So a little bit of vena cava, superior vena cava, mm, inferior vena cava. Um, that's most of it, as much as as much as you need to know for for this demonstration. So there are mediastinal structures. Mediastinal is an adjective describing things pertaining to the mediastinum, which is a place in which those things live, right? So you get it? The mediastinum is the place between the two plural sacs beneath the thoracic outlet and above the uh, tendon of the tendinous portion of the diaphragm. Cool, get it? Mediastinum? Mediastinum. Awesome. Thank you, friends. Mediastinum. Yay! <laughs> Mediastinum. Integral anatomy. <laughs> yeah. yeah.